Hello, I'm Nathan Martin with DivinePollination.com and free with EFT.com, and I'm going to do a training on how to use a feelings wheel. Now, the feelings wheel is a really neat tool created by Dr. Gloria Wilcox in St. Petersburg, Florida, and I have found it tremendously helpful in my EFT. I learned about it back in 2002 when I was uh, going through a divorce and I read a book called The Search for Significance and that was my first experience with learning what I felt. I just knew I felt bad. I didn't understand what I felt. So I, I started reading this book and I learned about the feeling wheel. And the feeling wheel is a great tool. And so let me just show you here on the screen. You have six core feelings and the top side is the negative feelings and the bottom side is the positive feelings and so you have powerful and matter opposites when you're feeling powerful that's a, a positive feeling you're feeling mad that's a negative feeling but they're opposites so if you're feeling mad you can say you're feeling powerless scared and peaceful are also opposites when you're feeling scared or afraid you're not in peace when you're peaceful you're not scared when you're feeling joyful you're not sad, but when you're really sad, you're definitely not joyful. So you see a pattern here. Now let's look at some of the different feelings. We can talk about them a little bit. So when you're, you're feeling critical, the opposite of critical, when you go down here, is faithful. So if you feel like you're being cheated on, like your spouse or friend is uh, unfaithful to you, you're going to be critical. If you notice that you're being critical to somebody, Chances are, deep down, somewhere, you feel like they're cheating on you. Even if they're not, even if it's stupid and it feels silly, uh, you might have an expectation. And if they are uh, violating your expectation to you, that is cheating. Right, wrong, indifferent, it doesn't matter. That's just what your subconscious program is running. So you just need to honor that subconscious program and understand it. So yeah, I'm feeling critical right now. I, I guess that's, uh, I feel like, you know, my sister or my, my friend is cheating on me. I don't know how they're cheating on me, but I really just want to be critical of them. Another example over here, you have submissive, and it's in the scared column. And submissive is the opposite of intimate. So when you're feeling intimate, you're not feeling submissive. When you're feeling submissive, you're not intimate. Now, this is interesting because a lot of people have the belief, the limiting belief, that if I just submit to my lover, if I do it their way, they're going to love me. They're going to like me. We're going to have intimacy and connection. Actually, submissiveness is the anti-connection. It's the anti-intimacy. You're not going to be intimate. You're actually going to sabotage your intimacy when you submit to your partner or to your friend or to your parents. Another example, if you look down here, uh, you have respected. When you look at the opposite of respected, you have hostile. When you're in hostility, you know that you're not feeling respected. You're feeling disrespected. Over here, when you look at energetic, energetic is the opposite of lonely. Look at that. When you're feeling lonely, you don't have energy. That's why people, a lot of times, they overeat when they're feeling lonely. Because food, calories, are a measure of energy. So it's a way of dealing, a subconscious way. Now, the inside loop only corresponds to the opposite of the inside loop on the other side. So anxious is only content. It's not. Anxious is not content and pensive. The outer loop corresponds to the outer loop. So if you're apathetic, you're not being daring right now. If you're being daring, you're not being apathetic. The inside loop and the outside loop do not have a correlation except for the innermost core, which is the core feelings. So this is a great tool to use with EFT. Let me give you an example. Uh, let's go back to critical. Even though I'm feeling really critical towards my friend right now, because apparently I feel like they're unfaithful to me, like they threw me under the bus. Maybe, just maybe, I can understand why I'm feeling critical, what the belief pattern is, what the limiting belief pattern is, that's causing me to feel cheated on. And maybe then I won't feel cheated on anymore. Maybe they're really not cheating on me. Maybe I just have an unreasonable expectation. 
maybe I could let that expectation go. It's a possibility. Another one that you could use as an example is uh, let's look at submissive and intimate. Even though I really want to be intimate with my partner right now, but I can't because they're giving me a, an ultimatum. I either have to submit and do it their way or I uh, lose the intimacy or they leave me or they punish me or they reject me. I mean, think about this. Maybe this is how it ties in. You're critical because you feel like they're being unfaithful, and so you give them an ultimatum. Now they need to submit to you because uh, so that you can stop being critical. You need to stop being unfaithful to me by submitting to me so that I can, again, feel better and not be critical anymore. But the, the problem is you're trying to dominate them because of submissiveness and domination. And instead of intimacy. So you're really squashing your intimacy in order to get over your feeling of being cheated on. It's a, a really uh, double-edged sword there. So this is a really great tool, fascinating tool, to dig into your feelings with. Now we have upgraded this tool. We've created the Duality to Unity Feelings Wheel. And we have a 47-minute e-course on that as well. So you can pick up the Feelings Wheel along with the e-course at our other blog, divinepollination.com. You just you hover over store and you click on Hive Feelings Wheel. The Hive Feelings Wheel has a, a real quick description about it and you can pick up and buy that class, that e-class, if you're interested. Otherwise, the regular Feelings Wheel is also really good but we have the, the duality to unity feelings wheel. It's even more refined than the version I just showed you. Additionally, if you'd like a free feeling wheel, all you have to do is go to freewitheft.com. And on the right-hand side, there's a sign-up for my newsletter. And you get my ebook as well as a free feeling wheel. And it's a high-res version as opposed to the the low-res JPEG that's on the right-hand side here. I'm Nathan Martin with FreeWithEFT.com and DivinePollination.com. Remember, emotional freedom is just a few taps away.